Hi everyone, this is Jennifer O'Toole. I want to wish you a happy April. That is, happy Autism Awareness Acceptance Month. Happy April. Happy, necessarily, neurodiverse. You know, I think the energy and excitement that everyone puts into autism awareness and celebrations and fundraisers and events during April, it's fantastic. I mean, clearly, it's fantastic. The thing is, I guess I want to talk about what happens in May. What happens after the hoopla? It's that after party, if you will, kind of energy drop. What happens when we all just return to life? Okay, so the thing is, actually, this year I have sort of an amazing, unbelievably humbling, world changing, and I'm not exaggerating there, no hyperbole here, announcement that I'll get to be part of and share with you at the very end of the month. And when I tell you that it is of the import and of the scale that it's gonna affect every single person watching this video and then some, I'm not fibbing. <laughs> you know, people on the spectrum, we can lie. We're just really, really bad at it. So trust me, it's big and it's amazing. But, and it's the journey from now until then that I think counts just as much. This year I wrote my memoir, my seventh book called Autism and Heals. It's that untold story of a female life on the, on the spectrum. And the reality is that that perspective, the not just Asper kids, not just, you know, G rated or PG 13 rated, but real stuff that keeping it real and honest and well, bold. It was scary at times, but I think it's what made that challenge of writing that book, inviting all of you into some of the darkest moments of my life. It makes the light shine that much brighter and truer, I think, I hope. So this month, here's what I want. I want to share with you the reality of my autistic experience, my experience of life while also being on the human spectrum, the autism spectrum, a mom of kids on the spectrum, a mom of just, you know, kids, um, just a mom, a woman, who's also on the spectrum, but is also just a woman. You get the idea? <laughs> it's real life. This month, I wanna take you along with me behind the scenes, on airplanes, um, on interviews. I'm gonna take you with me to fashion shows, to the National Institute of Health. Um, I'm gonna take you to places, well, I hope, I hope that you've not yet even imagined we could go together. And also perhaps, you know, my backyard or my office in my house where there's a squirrel on the window trying to get in. Real life. And for the first time ever, I'm gonna ask you to participate with me. So this really is a conversation about what comes next. Building up to the end of April? Yeah, but really building up to the real life that's afterwards too. If you will just join me by clicking the links you see here or the contact page at jenniferotoolauthor.com what I will get to do is invite you to, well, okay, fine, watch some extra bloopers and get some free downloads and all the good stuff that I really wanna make sure I give to you, but also give you then the opportunity to submit questions so that every week I'm gonna do, sit down right here with you and I'm gonna do a Q&A session. I'm gonna answer your questions, at least as best I can. And if I can't, I'll find somebody who can. That might even be one of my kids. I don't know, but this isn't just about me or my experience. This is about all of us together. It's about the human spectrum and what comes next. So please do this with me. Be part of this amazing adventure, really, truly, whether it is on an airplane, my backyard, having a cup of coffee, this is going to be amazing. And for the first time, I really get to hear from each one of you. And I promise I will read every single message. And um, if you don't believe I'm going to keep it real, how about this? Autism mini heels? Absolutely. I love me my stilettos. But you know what else? This chick does autism and compression socks most of the time. You know why? Because it's a sensory experience. I wear them every day. They're fun. I wear them under most things because they're calming, just like 
Temple Grandin squeeze machine? Well, I get mine at Broadway Shoes. <laughs> Little things like this. That's what life is really about with autism, without autism. It's life on the human spectrum. Welcome to April and what comes next. I can't wait for you to join me. So go, click.